welcome to the marketplace as we speak. The UNA 2017 is taking place live and direct here at the banquet in Holy Rome for years. That is the uncelebrated Nigeria Award, where I'm told there's going to be 57 awards given out at different categories, and I can't wait to join in the party. Look around. People are just turning up, people are coming in to celebrate the Nigerians do well in the community. Let us go to see this old phone as it goes on. Thank you so much. The second UNA Uncelebrated Nigerian Award took place on the 30th of September 2017 to coincide with the 57th Nigerian Independence. By giving away 57 awards in different sectors of industries like health, education, politics, art, and much more. It was a well-attended occasion with special guest, Reverend Mother Esther Ajayi, who gave the opening prayer. Thank you so much for coming, Ma. You're welcome. So, how do you feel coming today to the Nigerian, to the uncelebrated Nigerian Award? Everything about Nigeria is glorious. Nigeria is God's own country. That's it. We do our thing. We are not there yet, but we're on our way there. At some point, it's going to happen. Yes. Nigeria is a place that I love with my whole heart. When, when we mention Nigeria, yes, some negative things, but there are loads and loads of positive things about us that we want to showcase to the whole world. Thank you very much for coming, Ma. You're welcome. This is uncelebrated Nigerian. Well, we here in abroad have a lot of Nigerians here. Any message to people who are doing so well and uncelebrated at the moment? What I'm saying is that continue to do the good thing that you are doing. One thing I know about God is that he is all seen. Whatever thing you are doing, at some point, God is, will not... When we get to the book of um, Acts of Apostles, chapter 10, the Lord said to... Uh, when he sent a message to Cornelius, he said his, 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 his offering and his prayer and all the good things that he's doing has come to memorable to remembrance in the presence of the creator. There's nothing that we are doing. The creator of the whole universe is not going to judge us with at some point. Some people are waiting for judgment day. There's judgment day, yes, but there are some things that the Lord is going to judge you with. Continue to do your good thing at some point. I guarantee you that it's not going to be long. The Lord will come recognizing you. Well said, I can't talk that, so continue to do good as Nigerian. Ayo Akinfe, who is the conveyor of UNA, gave the opening speech of what UNA is all about, followed by Victor Adeleke, a representative for the Deputy High Commission in the UK, who also gave a speech on what it is to be an outstanding Nigerian in the UK. Did you observe? The representatives of the High Commissioner, the Mayor Farag, the Kanu Chairman, Reverend Eshajai, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the organizing committee of the Uncelebrated Nigerian Awards UK, it is with great pleasure that I once more welcome you to this our gala dinner, the annual celebration of unsung heroes in the diaspora. You see, like no other event in the UK, UNA honors ordinary, honest, uncelebrated, and unrecognized toiling Nigerians 
who no one else even notices. On behalf of the UNA Organizing Committee, I congratulate all our 57 awardees and hope you all have a pleasant evening. It gives me great pleasure to address you tonight on this very important occasion of the annual Uncelebrated Nigerians Award in the United Kingdom 2017, planned as a pre-Independence Day celebration. I am particularly delighted that this event is gradually turning out to be an event which has recorded tremendous success. Today's event gives us all the memorable day of our pre-independence day celebration in 1960. It is a day we all wish to celebrate and it must be celebrated resoundingly. Congratulate the 57 awardees who have been found worthy of this honorary recognition for their contributions to the Nigerian community service here in the United Kingdom. This gesture, no doubt, will continue to inspire others quiet in the diaspora community to service of their fatherland. The atmosphere was electric as the 57 awards was given out in recognition of the hard work done. Let's hear from the awardees of their take of how excited it is to be recognized. Number one, you know, this is my first award. I've never won the award before. I've only been there. I've never think of any award before. So it means a loss to me. And then even for the fact that I got this uncelebrated as my first award, I'm so glad. I'm so happy. Oh, very good. Very, very great. It's been a great honor. Well, it made me feel good and courage to do more for the community. The vote of thanks was given by Ronke Adolfia before the guests danced into the early hours of the 1st of October 2017 to welcome in the 57 Nigerian Independence Day. A massive thank you to the mayor of uh, this area, this, uh, 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 the uh, and also to the High Commission. Now, we wouldn't have been able to do this or made it possible if we didn't have our guests. So, thank you very much. A big thank you to. We have Mr. Ayo Akinfe, the organizer for this UNA. Congratulations, it's come to an end, and a lot of awardees have received the award. How does that make you feel? Oh, very elated. Um, it went well. 57 unrecognized heroes were recognized. So, yeah, feel, feels good. Well, they should keep coming. Um, there's a lot of unsung heroes in our community, and everybody overlooks them. Nobody even notices their existence. So, please keep supporting UNA, keep coming to our events. And, um, yes, hopefully.